Good afternoon, Chair Mons Anderson, Vice Chair Lithicum, and members of the Health Care Committee. For the record, my name is Rachel Prusak. I'm the State Representative of House District 37, and I'm here to testify in support of SB 770 and to shed light on our complex and complicated healthcare system. I've been a nurse for over 20 years and a family nurse practitioner for over a decade. When I'm not in Salem, I'm spending time caring for homebound elderly patients, serving as their primary care provider. Nurses are the ones treating the uninsured and the underinsured patients who come to us sick or lose their lives due to lack of health care. We see firsthand the way in which our patients suffer when they can't access care. The American Nurses Association Code of Ethics establishes the ethical standard for our profession and its passionate call for all nurses and nursing organizations to advocate for the protection of human rights and equal justice. It states, nursing is committed to the welfare of the sick, injured, and vulnerable in society. Nurses know that caring for the sick should not be a business where only some get the care they need. Oregon has led our country in health care reform, daring to make improvements that other states envy. Oregon must continue to be our country's health care innovator. Illness is nonpartisan, non-gender specific, and knows no demographic boundaries. And every person should have equal access to comprehensive, equitable, affordable, high quality health care that includes mental health care, dental, and vision. What I know is any of us in this room, on any day, can receive a diagnosis of cancer or a life-changing neurodegenerative disease. And when this happens, we should not also worry about bankruptcy, which is an event that happens all too often. As a profession, nurses want nothing more but to serve our communities when they are in need. But instead, we often spend countless hours filling out forms and making phone calls so our patients can get the life-saving treatment they need. Healthcare providers did not seek out our professions just to have our patients denied access to treatments as they get sicker. We became medical professionals to advocate for our patients, to be there for them in their time of need. And for this reason, I am here to urge this committee to take any action that will address our complex and expensive health care system. Thank you. Chair Manis Anderson, Vice Chair Lithicum, and members of the committee. For the record, my name